Welcome to Yokateki. Today we are going to talk about Christie's Pandora's Box Media and Show Control System. Christie, a well-known name in video displays and audio technology, has acquired in 2015 a German company called Kulax. Uh, Kulax is best known for their uh, Pandora's Box uh, product family that is very famous in applications like projection mapping and large size digital canvases. The product is now called Christie Pandora's Box and the website where you can find all details is kulax.ve. The goal is to actively change the camera view based on the location of the viewer's face and get an impression as if we were looking into an object or a scene through the window. We will start by importing a sample object downloaded from the internet. In this particular case, I selected a cockle, which can be downloaded for free. We will link the object with its UV map in JPG format, and now we can see the object in 3D space. By selecting the camera one that is linked to the output one of the server and where my screen is connected to, and alternating the three axis values of the camera position, we can see the object render from different angles in real time. Now let's connect USB webcam to the system and see how face tracking values are changed dynamically by the server. With very little experimenting we can see that server accurately recognizes the face and as the face is moving tracks its position by changing x value between 0 and 600 and y between 0 and 400. Value Z is changed depending on the area that face covers, which is of course linked to the distance of the face from the camera. One of the most powerful tools available for the server and other Pandora's box products is called Widget Designer. It allows creation of advanced user interfaces for user interaction with the system. In addition, you can create scripts for customized show control scenarios. Now we will create a code in Widget Designer that will do a simple math and output a more sensible values that are related to a physical dimensions of the 3D space we created inside the project. Then we will link the calculated values to the X, Y and Z camera position inside the project and let's look at the result. The result is quite interesting. If slightly more complex math is added to the project and the light directed to the face is brighter and more uniform so that the face tracking accuracy is improved, it would be quite realistic in my opinion. Pandora's box consists of many different products. I will not go in details as you can find everything on their website, but I was lucky enough to have here with me one of their products. It can play back 4K content uncompressed at 60 frames per second and several servers can work in sync. It has dual Xeon processors, NVIDIA Quadro graphic processing unit and SSD RAID storage. In addition to uh, face tracking, there are numerous other devices that can be used to control your content. Fidget sensor, GPS receivers, motion detection, uh, object camera tracking. System can also interact with external world, DMX uh, or IP, of course, serial inputs and outputs, and through SMS messages or emails. Thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos. Ciao.